be with you. I'm Pastor Luther from Incarnation Lutheran Church, and this is To Start Your Day. Our reading for today comes to us from the book of James, reading from the second chapter, verses 14 through 26. James 2, 14 through 26, and I'll be reading from the message translation. Dear friends, do you think you'll get anywhere in this if you learn all the right words but never do anything? Does merely talking about faith indicate that a person really has it? For instance, you come upon an old friend dressed in rags and half starved and say, good morning friend, be clothed in Christ, be filled with the Holy Spirit and walk off without providing so much as a coat or a cup of soup. Where does that get you? Isn't it obvious that God talk without God acts is outrageous nonsense? I can already hear one of you agreeing by saying, sounds good. You take care of the faith department. I'll handle the works department. Not so fast. You can no more show me your works apart from your faith than I can show you my faith apart from my works. Faith and works, works and faith, fit together hand in glove. Do I hear you professing to believe in the one and only God, but then observe you complacently sitting back as if you had done something wonderful? That's just great. Demons do that. But what good, does it do, what good does it do them? Use your heads. Do you suppose for a minute that you can cut faith and works in two and not end up with a corpse on your hands? Wasn't our ancestor Abraham made right with God by works when he placed his son Isaac on the sacrificial altar? Isn't it obvious that faith and works are yoked partners, that faith expresses itself in works? That the works are works of faith, the full meaning of believe in the scripture sentence, Abraham believed God and was set right with God, includes his action. It's that mesh of believing and acting that God, Abraham named God's friend. Is it not evident that a person is made right with God not by a barren faith, but by a faith fruitful in works? The same with Rahab, the Jericho harlot. Wasn't her action in hiding God's spies and helping them escape that seamless unity in, of believing and doing what counted with God? The very moment you separate body and spirit, you end up with a corpse. Separate faith and works and you get the same thing, a corpse. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Good and gracious Lord, a day before us is full of wonder, is full of excitement, is full of privilege and opportunity, and for that we give you thanks. Help us as people who believe and trust with our whole heart in you. Show that faith in the exercise of things that we do to express our love to one another. We don't do the works that we do in order to gain salvation. That has been won for us already by you, and we trust that in faith. But as a fruit of our faith, let us show it in all that we do by being your hands and feet in the world so that the world might come to know that you are real, that salvation is theirs, and that they can have hope. For Lord, we live in a world that needs hope, especially now. In your holy name we pray. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give each and every one of you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.